If you're a writer, Payne is going to 100% bullshit you with the first batch. <laughs> I think songwriters, that, uh, the best thing they could do is go out to find these producers because producers are looking for songwriters like DJs used to look for rappers. Now you was a DJ, you need a rapper to get on the mic. You know, you need somebody to MC. Now some uh, producers are looking for writers like that. You get you a great writer. That's why I work with DJ Payne One. You get you a great writer, you in there. So they looking for producers. Yeah, producers are looking for writers. Like you get what I mean. So that's the best thing. Since it's going to the internet, you can just look up that that producer, email them, write them, contact them in whatever way you can, and say, say, can I write some songs to you? Now keep this in mind. The first, can I cuss? Yeah. Because I just wanted to, shit. No, I'm playing. No, the first, the first batch of beats that he send you is gonna be bullshit. Like they always send you like. Yo, let me try this person out and see. So you just gotta pick the best one and just do what you can to it. Then they'll see that you're worth it. Then they'll start sending you some good work. And then you'll you establish a long line of working relationship with them. And most of the time, they'll get it placed. Cause like chances are the producers are sending their stuff out a mile a minute, mile a minute, mile a minute. So like you can be out sending your stuff out and it'd be cool, but the producers also will get it placed for you. So you'll be all right. So the first batch of beats I ever sent you, there, it was bullshit. Yes, pain, one hundred percent. If you're a writer, pain is gonna one hundred percent bullshit you with the first batch of his beats that he seen you. We had it's, good records that first batch. Hey, hey, no, we had good records because he was. It was probably just what you made that week, or you was making right then. He was like, I'm not gonna send you these bangers I got. I'm gonna send you this beat I just finished because I ain't got no emotional attachment to it, and I don't care. You like, I'm just gonna send you these three beats. And you know, you write whatever you can write to those. And then I may or may not send you these bangers I got stashed. I can't, listen, I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He lived, Payne lives in Madison, Wisconsin. I came all the way up to Madison. He played me the stuff in his computer here. I'm like, this is nothing like the stuff that you sent me in my email. He was like, I know, you know. So he he still be sending me bullshit. And then he, then he send me the great stuff later. You know what I'm saying? So just watch out for that. All right, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask you this then. Um, have you had a damn that hurt moment? Basically a negative experience in the music business that you learned from? Oh yeah, the biggest negative, you know what it is. The, big, the biggest negative experience I had was a record that we did for Jaheen. Wrote a record for him called I Found You. Amazing record, I loved it. He sang the song, it was nice. Enough. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm on Jaheen record. I'm going around telling my family. He sang my song. Man, he know me. You know, we good. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden I get the credits back. No, my name not on there. I don't know how he said Balewa. And and I, I don't know what happened. Like I'm like, he didn't write the record. He don't even know me. I don't know how he even got the record. Like, I don't even understand so i went through this whole thing and then it kind of ended up like either sue atlantic records and get blackballed or forget about it like you get what i'm saying it ended up just being like that and it was like oh, i could get you some money like you know or i could just write another hit and that's what it ended up being so sometimes you got to just watch out for that really have your lawyer and your stuff together and um really go after those people and you know and focus and make sure that they get on it when whenever you you know put your words to something but those are your words. If they're your words, they can't take them away from you. Um, we straight now. I'm happy. <laughs>